is the right to teach as one sees fit, but not necessarily the right to teach evil. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot more things about speech rights. Uh, it's more than just, you know, I can teach the way I want to teach it. Um, and I have sort of province over you know, my own um, research interests and everything like that. There's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, then uh, AAUP, which is the American Association of University Professors, um, has a lot of stuff where it talks about issues of academic freedom. Um, to promote public understanding and support of academic freedom and tenure and agreement upon procedures. Well, that's just saying that they, they do that. Um, so basically, you know, for instance, um, if somebody out there said, oh my God, he's, he's teaching these, these liberal ideas through here. I'm teaching you know, processes of, you know, I'm trying to make change. I'm not telling people what type of change to make necessarily, but you know, I can, I can teach what I want to teach. I just can't teach people to <laughs> go like violent. I mean, uh, it's just crazy. Um, but you can see where, you know, particularly in South Carolina, uh, folks were going to take away funding for um, you know, schools, um, you know, uh, requiring students to read this or that, and the students didn't want to read it because oh, it disagrees with my perspective. Yeah. Um, so it goes back to the idea that. Um, Academic freedom as the pursuit of, of, of truth. You know, people need to open up your minds. Was it Douglas? Da, 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 could see that the public school system not become cells for communist activity. Well, he doesn't want that. But he reminded the court that the framers of the Constitution knew the strength that comes when the mind is free. Open up your minds. Be able to look at things from multiple perspectives. Blah 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 blah. So you can read all this stuff if you want to. But, and be a teacher. Change lives. By flunking them. <laughs> flunking them, that's a joke. Okay, so we got that. Um, Loving versus Virginia. Have you seen the movie? I think it was nominated for Academy Award or something like that. Um, I'll let you look at this, uh, but basically, <laughs> as that's not really an educational thing. It's a tra trailer to the movie. Um, but basically the idea is that um, this change uh, made um, interracial marriage, um, it, it was unconstitutional to have a state law that uh, disallowed um, interracial marriage. Now this stuff is crazy. I mean, look at the, uh, the, 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 uh, the trial judge stated when basically they're going to kick him out of Virginia, right? You got to leave Virginia if you want to stay here. Trial just said, Almighty God created the racist white, black, yellow, Malay, Malay, and red, and he placed them on separate continents. And but for the interference with the, his arrangement, there would be no cause for such marriages. The fact that he separated the races shows that he did not intend for the races to mix. What a dumbass. Um, First, I mean, it's just it's, he's using his own you know, religious perspective as law, which you're not supposed to do. But a lot of people do that. And second, it's just wrong. God, these people are stupid. So it goes back to equal protection and everything like that. Um, yeah. There's still people who are against it. God, it's crazy. That's a pretty good one. Oh, and the rest you can read. We got Phillips versus uh, Martin Marietta. So basically, Ida Phillips and all this. So um, you cannot discriminate because of gender. But you know, pay is still a thing. Um, so you can't have different hiring rules for people based on their gender. Cohen versus California. Um, I can't say that. I probably shouldn't say that word. F U C K, the draft. It was free speech, um, so yeah, um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, Wallace versus uh, Jaffrey, um, 
that's all about prayer in public schools. That's why we don't have prayer in public schools, um, which it's not like you can't. I mean, it's just, you know, and people, you can pray, I mean, silently, but uh, basically, constitutionally, um, the government cannot establish a religion. And if you do this, it's establishing religion. So I'll let you do that. Or read that. Atkins versus Virginia. Um, this is a situation where um, it was shown that a um, man had um, what they called mildly mentally retardation. Um, and so he could not be put to death. You think? Lawrence versus Texas. Again, sort of uh, 14th Amendment stuff, um, equal protection. You can't say these folks can do certain things and these folks can't just because they're them. Yeah. So, but the point is, and of all this, is that lawyers have worked with people um, to make changes, to change laws based on the Constitution to make a more just society. That's pretty much it. And yeah, and there's more going on. I mean, this is, I think this was written before the 2015 gay marriage um, decision. But So, okay. Then the book or the chapter goes on to say, hey, go to law school if you want to. Go get a job. There are certain jobs that you can do to try to uh, change stuff. Or not, I mean, you can go get a law degree and then go do stupid stuff. Um, so, some things to do, work for the work for a government office. Uh, one of our Columbia College uh, graduates that I just actually um, had dinner with um, uh, a couple of nights, weeks ago, um, is a district attorney. Uh, works for our attorney general and prosecutes folks um, who basically child, not child molesters, but do child porn. What a job. But those folks need to be prosecuted. Somebody's got to do it, and also somebody's got to defend them so you can become a public defender. Uh, get a bunch of money working as a criminal defense lawyer, particularly if you work for celebrities. Everybody deserves defense. You work for a nonprofit organization, they need lawyers. Um, work for a private law firm like Donna does. Um, but oftentimes you'll, uh, you know, private firm like the firm, Tom Cruise, but you know, um, you'll, sometimes that type of stuff isn't terribly sexy. I mean, there's so many different types of laws, mergers and acquisitions, taxation, estate planning, personal injury, all that type of stuff. But a lot of these folks can do or have sometimes mandatory pro bono stuff they have to do. And then it just ends by, you know, the big point, which I think this is really, really interesting. Um, filing, well, I'll get back to this, but you know, oftentimes filing a lawsuit is itself a, um, an activist action. Um, even if you don't win. And so, for instance, um, it talks about uh, issues of uh, what the, the animal advocacy group filing a lawsuit um, for the Ford Law. I don't know what that is. That, that was some, I can't remember. I don't know. I'm not much of a foodie. Um, I, you know, when I we had seafood going out for seafood in the little town I grew up in in Oklahoma meant going along Don Silver's and having chicken planks because if it's chicken at Long John Silver's it's considered seafood okay and he got came in little ships and then I wore my pirate cap and ate my chicken and said mmm tastes like chicken um, 
But basically the idea is uh, that most state animal cruelty laws or codes exempt farming practices. That's why. Uh, so, but in any case, here's the thing. But the lawsuit might be worthwhile even though chances of winning the legal battle are extremely low. The advocates could issue press releases about the suit and invite the press to attend various phases of the trial. The moment a newspaper or journal covers the issue, the animal advocates have won a small victory, etc. So oftentimes folks will file lawsuits just, you know, to do that. Um, and so at the end of the day, uh, I do like the quote on page 183. It's hard to fight for peace and justice without knowledge of laws and public policies. You may not aspire to a career in law, but the activist must understand how the law works and how lawyers can help their causes. I agree with that. That's pretty good. Uh, you got to work with lawyers. With lawyers and citizens working together. <laughs> Picture of the firm. Tell you think it was okay. Tom Cruise went off the deep end. Um, the Mummy. Let me see. It's got terrible reviews. Um, speaking of mummy, um, next week <laughs> I'm going to go see my mommy. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to that. But in any case, okay, that's it. Uh, I look forward to looking at your YouTube speeches and all that type of stuff. And hopefully uh, this has helped you.